There is no better exercise for the buttocks than the glute bridge. Yes, this exercise will make your buttocks look amazing, but there are also some surprising benefits of doing this exercise regularly. In this video, I'll tell you what will happen to your body if you do 100 glute bridges every day. So watch the video till the end. Let's go! Pump up glutes and make them look rounder. Glute bridge is the best exercise for working the gluteal muscles. The gluteus maximus, medius and minimus muscles are most involved in the work. The exercise activates the buttocks and makes them toned and rounder. In addition, glute bridge involves the muscles of the core, the back and front of the thigh, as well as the calf muscles. The exercise also engages the abs, but to a lesser extent. To summarize, during glute bridge, almost the entire lower body is worked, so the exercise is ideal for for those who want to strengthen their legs and make their buttocks look rounder. Pumped up buttocks are important not only from an aesthetic, but also from a functional point of view. Strong glutes help you perform other important exercises. One reputable study even found that glute bridges activate more muscle fibers in the glutes than squats activate and strengthen gluteal muscles. The glute bridge can be used as a warm-up exercise or as part of a core workout. Its huge advantage is that it can be performed anywhere, even in the gym, even in a hotel room. In addition, the glute bridge increases the strength of the gluteal muscles. This is what you will need during deadlifts, lunges, and squats. The glute bridge is a great example of an assistance exercise for these movements. Perform it with additional weights for greater inclusion of the gluteal muscles. Improve posture. The main function of the gluteus maximus muscle is to extend the hip joint, which is also responsible for posture. If you exercise your buttocks regularly, the muscles will become stronger and stronger. As a result, your posture will improve significantly. Strengthen the back. Back pain while performing deadlift or squats, walking, running, or even while sitting can be all be a sign of weak gluteal muscles. After a month of regular training, you will catch yourself thinking that walking and running, thanks to your trained muscles, have become much easier. At the same time, the pain in your back, and in particular lower back, also went away. And this is not surprising. Not only the gluteal muscles have strengthened, but also the back muscles, and endurance has moved to a new level. In addition, the glute bridge puts minimal pressure on the knee joint, which is almost impossible to avoid while squatting. Burn lots of calories. This exercise is recommended for weight loss and shaping the lower body. If you are looking for the exercises that pump up glutes and at the same time burn fat, try different options of this exercise. Improve athletic performance. Not only strong legs or back, but also strong buttocks ensure maximum performance in the gym. Strong gluteal muscles will help you overcome any obstacles during your workout. They can help you improve your stability during certain exercises or even last longer during running or other cardio workouts. The gluteal muscles activate the hip joint, which then coordinates the movements of the legs. It has been proven that if you are a beginner, you will find it more difficult to pump up your glutes with squats or deadlifts than if you are a pro. This is because weaker gluteal muscles don't put enough pressure on the hips, so the psoas muscles are activated. Consequently, weak glutes can reduce squat depth, causing subsequent pain, muscle damage, and more severe muscle pain the day after training. Develop explosive pelvic extension. The glutes are strong muscles of the posterior chain, which is responsible for the safe extension of the hip joint, which is important in any strength sport. In addition, strong glutes will allow you to jump higher and further and help you accelerate faster when sprinting. Absolute safety. When performing the classic version of the glute bridge, it is almost impossible to get injured. The maximum trouble you can get is working the wrong muscles. This happens due to incorrect exercise technique. But this is not a threat to you, since right now we will analyze in detail the correct technique for performing a glute bridge. The technique for performing a classic glute bridge is as follows. Lie on the floor, press your lower back. For comfort, perform the exercise on yoga mat or something similar. The legs should be bent at the knee joint, feet hip width apart, heels on the floor. Stretch your arms along the body so that they are parallel to each other. As you inhale, lift your pelvis up until your body is in a straight line from your shoulders to your knees. Then take a short pause and tighten your buttocks. As you exhale, lower yourself to the starting position. By varying versions of the glute bridge, you can increase the loads as you progress. The exercise is quite easy, and even a beginner can do it easily. But you can complicate the glute bridge by adding weight and changing the support at infinitum. If you want to learn more about the glute bridge, watch another video about it. The link is on the screen right now. See you soon!